catch one of those, you're getting blasted. And all ready to go. It is full of mold. It's all wet and water damaged over here. Hey y'all, welcome back to part two of our dream backyard transformation. Today, we are working on lots of cleanup and decluttering to prepare to tear down the two existing sheds that we have. If you are completely new here and you do not know what's going on, make sure you watch the video. I'll have linked right here in the cards and I'll also have it right down below in the description box so you can kind of just be up to date on what's happening. But basically, we plan on tearing out all of this that you're looking at right here, these two sheds, all the plants, everything, all that had to go so we could install a new building that will take its place. And this new addition is going to serve as my laundry room, my office, and also an outdoor living entertainment space or even a workout room. We don't know yet. We'll figure it out when we get there. But right now, we are just in cleanup phase trying to clean up to prepare for the building to be installed in the concrete slab and it's just it's been a little stressful I'm not gonna lie I feel like we've been handling it pretty well though we have been moving very very fast at working you know on cleaning up all of our stuff and boy you don't realize how much stuff you accumulate until you have a project like this <laughs> so I wanted to have a yard sale so in this video you'll see me preparing um, for the yard sale and if you already watched my vlog that I posted like two days two or three days ago um, I shared that my yard sale was a flop. It really was. I only made $3 after all the setup and, you know, prep, buying yard sale signs, everything. I made $3, you guys. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, and technically, if you take away the amount that I already spent on signs, I didn't make anything. I made like negative $17. It was ridiculous. But um, I ended up doing a giveaway for that vlog if you missed it. Um, I did say that whoever could guess the amount that I made, I would send you a $25 Amazon gift card, and I already did that. Tammy was the winner, and I'm super thankful for everyone who participated. Your engagement means so much. Your comments, likes, shares, this helps my channel tremendously, and I cannot thank you guys enough that this is what is helping us pay for this building, and I am beyond grateful. So thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, so today I was working on um, just cleaning up some of the furniture I had in the carport stored. This was actually going to our neighbor. They have a little girl and they were doing a makeover in her bedroom. So I just did a little bit of touch-ups on this and I'm also going to work on touching up the old coffee table that I used to have in my living room. I decided to go ahead and get rid of that. My neighbor also took that as well because I ended up giving away almost everything that I had because we had to make room for all of our stuff that was in our sheds. So, although my yard sale was a flop, I was able to give away a lot of stuff to a lot of people, and I was super grateful to be able to do that. Now, something else that I needed to touch up were these lamps. This is a set of lamps that I got for free. If you guys remember that kitchen table that I got for free that I flipped that turned out really pretty, I planned on doing a Pottery Barn dupe on these, but... I ran out of time. So I was like, you know what? One quick coat of spray paint and we'll be good to go. I'll put these in the sale. Um, and they did not sell. <laughs> I also gave these away. Um, they actually went to my husband's supervisor's wife so that turned out I mean she, they actually took quite a bit of stuff because at that point I had all my yard sale stuff laid out and I was like if your wife wants anything text her send her pictures video chat whatever you got to do ask her if she wants anything please please take it and it turned out she was looking for some lamps so this was all meant to be in the end um, but yeah I'm just quickly spray painting these and then I took a lint roller to clean the lampshades so I mentioned whenever I got the free lamps and lampshades that the lampshades probably have never been cleaned ever. I mean, they were filthy dirty. Um, and someone recommended using a lint roller, which is genius. I don't know why I would have never thought of that. I would have been over here trying to like vacuum it probably and smearing the dust everywhere, but the lint roller worked great. So if you ever have lampshades that need to be cleaned, the lint roller will be your best friend and it doesn't smear the dust or anything like that. And here is how those two lamps turned out. They actually look really pretty. And then I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for not switching out <laughs> these for the ones that I have in my room because these are a little taller and I feel like a little bit thinner so they would fit a little bit better. Oh, I want some pizza. Mom, I want some pizza. 
All right, so yeah, it's time to clean out the shed and get all this stuff out of the way. And I was trying to get a head start on it before my husband got home, but boy, I didn't know where to start. <laughs> there was so much stuff, and I don't even know why, but why do I look so angry? <laughs> I look like I'm so mad when I'm concentrating, but I promise I'm not. I'm just thinking really hard. I, I need to work on that. Just like soft smiles. y'all thought I was done huh no just kidding there's a whole lot more in these cabinets like where did all this stuff come from so like I knew I had a lot of stuff but I guess because I had just had it like stored away in cabinets and it was like out of sight out of mind type of thing oh my goodness I am border I'm a hoarder like it's bad like this is horrible I but I the thing is I only, I hold on to things until someone needs it. Like, if someone comes to me and they're like, hey, I need this or I need something, girl, what? What do you need? I got it. <laughs> and I'll give it away. I have, like, no sentimental attachment. But I struggle at decluttering, like, on my own. Like, I have a really hard time getting rid of things because I think in my mind, I'm like, I might need this. <laughs> I've talked about this before where I, I do think a lot of it comes, goes back to a financial struggle place like you know at one point I could not afford to buy a new set of dishes or I couldn't afford to buy a new lampshade so I think now I hold on to things because I'm like I I, I don't know I fear not being able to be able to buy those things I don't know it's a weird thing it's hard to explain I could go I could talk about that for hours but I do think it's something I need to work through a little bit better because this was exhausting. <laughs> now, I do realize a lot of you are going to be like, well, girl, just stop buying stuff. And while that is a great point, great point, um, here's the thing. As a content creator, it is my job. Part of big, huge part of my content is the entertainment factor of changing my home, um, decorating on a budget, showing how I go thrift store shopping and I find cheap things and I make them beautiful. And that is part of 
what I do and that's part of why my channel has grown and why I've turned this into a job. As much as I would love to just share my day-to-day -day life, it's not as entertaining as you guys may think. I'm really boring, <laughs> honestly. There's not a whole lot to us and our family. We're just the average people here. I think what really thrives here on my channel is the fact that a lot of my content is relatable because it's affordable. I do a lot of affordable shop with me's and decorating and makeovers and I could be totally wrong about this, uh, but I feel like most of you who have subscribed have subscribed because of a budget-friendly makeover or some type of transformation that I've done over the years. Um, and if that's not the case, let me know. Actually, just let me know in the comments. Out of curiosity, how did you find my channel and what made you subscribe? I'd love to hear. I haven't asked that in a long time and it was really interesting to just see, you know, where everyone kind of came from and what made them subscribe. So I'm very interested. If you feel like sharing, let us know in the comments. <laughs> And I am so lucky, I gotta say. Oh, I guess you need to chill just thinking about it. So I grabbed one of these packing blankets to take with me to Lowe's. Oh, um, the car for. Okay, well I'm gonna go get, I threw it in the back seat of my truck. It's going that way, it's going that way. And I went to go get the cockroach, this thing, on it. And then inside of the blanket, a freaking lizard this big. <laughs> okay, so I had both a lizard and a cockroach riding with me in my freaking truck. And then it, it fell out of the blanket while this lady was watching me, so she saw the cockroach and the lizard come out of my truck. Oh. And she's probably like, ew, she's so dirty. When it, I just like rolled this blanket up into the back seat of my truck. But it's I have to tell you, not this morning, but yesterday morning, it was raining. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, anyway, on the way to work, I almost got rear-ended. This lady almost ate my damn hitch. Ooh, I would have folded her truck. No, her car. Little ass car. car. Yeah. yeah. She skirted to a stop. And you know what? She was looking down. So I figured she was on her phone. So I lifted my phone up. You know, it's dark. So people can see. So I lifted up like this. And I hit the button. That way it lit up. <laughs> she flicked me off and then skirted on by. But she did, man. She screeched in the hall. I was like, oh, she's going to hit me. I was looking at her in the rear view mirror. Oh, I thought you had it. Unfortunately, the suitcase that we had in here was full of mold along with a lot of stuff. Anything pretty much fabric that was in here is done for, um, which is such a bummer because, you know, when you obviously put together a shed like this and you store things in it, you like hope that it's going to be okay. Not here in Florida, not with all the humidity that we have and the rain. Um, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> and I just whacked the heck out of myself with that shelf. Um, and then, of course, Dylan laughed. And I was like, don't laugh. That actually hurt. It, like, fell apart and it whacked me in the side of the head. Hi. Can you put your head back inside the gate, please, ma'am? She was, she, she's so smart. The fact that she just heard and understood what I said and just... <laughs> yeah, woof, Elbows out. Yeah, my elbow's gonna whack that. 
Just to be your cameraman. How much would I pay you? Yeah, I just. Well, it depends on what angles you're getting. Huh? I I'm getting like... all angles, baby. <laughs> yeah. I w you'd be fired. Why? <laughs> because <laughs> the angles you're getting are not family friendly. <laughs> I just know it. Be quite honest with you. Do you want to sort through your things and give me some regard stuff? I want. My fist or stuff put up in one piece. Oh, one, is it for the yard sale? Then don't, don't talk about what I'm going to do with my things. I'm going off my shelf. Okay. I don't have very few things, Gary. I can, I can, I can fill my front seat we're with using, all of my okay, stuff. Okay, we're going to use government names now. I'm just saying. Dylan. I'm just saying. I'm getting rid of a lot. You should be yeah. thankful and proud. So proud. Why are we continuing in there though? We got stuff out here. Oh, I thought we're you were losing daylight. Where did you go? Did you see No, I mean, I kind of want this stuff just on the shelf. I don't want it inside the tote. Then you can get another. If you want to put it in the tote, we can dolly it so we're not going back and forth. Can't push, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to work these things. <laughs> I can't work this. What are you doing? I'm this on there too. Well, I'm going to lose every bit of it as oh, soon as yeah, I hit that corner. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm just going to put it right. I know. Yeah, hold on. I'm t as soon as I hit that corner there, I'm losing all of it. What corner? Hold on. Watch that. It's going to help keep the weight down. Mm -hmm. That's about this. It's going right there. You might lose that. I'll give you that. But anything else you got. There you Oh, it almost hit again. <laughs> I told you. I told you Mike lose that. No, the whole couch is lit. <laughs> if it's alive, this ain't gonna break it. So close. 
You don't... It's not gonna fall. Okay, grab that in and I'll help you lift if you lift it over. It don't pour over. <laughs> don't pour over. <laughs> Huh? You put it away too fast. So I get a video of what you're cooking. Oh my god, it looks so good. So Catch it! So Toss it. Here. Catch it, Zoe! No! Oh! I said, wait a minute, where'd it go? <laughs> Zoe. What are you looking for? You went in there. How many did you fill up? A couple. You're a child. <laughs> Tell in there! You're getting my shoes wet. <laughs> my camera. Your camera's not gonna get wet. You better stop it. If I catch one of those, you're getting blasted. Oh, did it pop? You're getting all your tools wet. Don't hit this camera. Got one more. Got one more chance. <laughs> Don't. Don't. How many more do you got? <laughs> <laughs> and the best one you got yourself. <laughs> That's awesome. That's not nice. Check it out. Oh, still got a long way to go. <laughs> but half of it's done.
after one full day of cleaning out the two sheds plus the next morning also cleaning out the sheds and you will see me clean out the shed a little bit more the actual laundry room y'all <laughs> It's a lot, um, but this is just all part of the process, and while it's crazy, it was really exciting to have to go through these things. I am so proud of us. I, I feel like we did amazing getting rid, rid of a lot, and that little tote that I just showed you was all the home decor that my sister-in-law picked out, and then my neighbor came over, and I think I told you this already at the beginning of the video, but she picked out a lot of stuff as well, and she actually took this coffee table. Um, if you have been following my channel for a while, this has been my coffee table for years and years, and um, I finally decided to part with it, and I'm really you know, thankful that I did because someone's going to get use out of it more than we will, and... I wanted to do a quick little touch up on it before I got rid of it though. So I'm going to do that same whitewash painting technique that I always do. I start with a lighter color. This color I'm using is actually called Agreeable Gray. This is the color that's on my my uh, walls in my living room. And then I went in with the color Pebble by Beyond Paint and I'm just kind of brushing those two paint colors together while they're wet and it creates just a whitewashed effect. Um, it kind of gives like a little bit of a a white washed wood grain I guess so um, I've used this technique many many times and anytime someone ever sees this furniture in person they're like oh this is beautiful I want this so she ended up giving it to her sister um, so that turned out really good for her and then my son wanted to help me so he was just doing a little painting here and I was showing him how to go from one side all the way to the other you want to make sure that your brush strokes are long or you'll have like weird marks but I've shared a whole video on how I do this in separate videos. If you are interested, let me know and I'll send you the link to one of those. So I'm just going to finish up this coffee table. I wanted to just quickly share this little flip with you guys um, because a lot of you guys love this table. Um, it was really pretty. It's just a little too big for my space now that we have tried to downsize our furniture in our living room. So in case you're wondering why I decided to get rid of it, I prefer this smaller coffee table that lifts into a table over this one. Um, so yeah, it was time for it to go. But anyway, I'm going to get that done and finish up pricing out my yard sale stuff. And then we're going to move back out back because I still had a lot of home decor that I wasn't wanting to get rid of. I wanted to hold on to obviously some things so that way when I do switch things around in my house, I have at least a little stash to grab from. I got rid of a lot, but I, I couldn't get rid of all of it. One of the last things that was in the shed that I wanted to get out was this bookcase that I actually added an arch to and um, did like a quick flip on a really cheap bookcase. It turned out really pretty. There is obviously a lot of touch-ups that need to be done on it. I scraped the paint off whenever I shoved it in between the cabinet and the wall, but um, it's actually really beautiful. But y'all, guess what? It broke in half. Um, it accidentally fell from the wind. The wind was 
kicking on this day. I don't know if you can tell, but the curtains are blowing. Um, and sure enough, the wind caught it just right and it tipped over and bloop, just broke right in half. So that was a bummer because I was gonna, going to touch it up and I planned on using that in my future office. I was just going to store it um, somewhere safe because I wanted to have like a spot to put some of my like favorite decor pieces in my office eventually. But you know, what can you do? I'll just have to make another one, I guess. Um, so now I'm emptying out this pool. We had a complete downpour like a couple days prior and it filled up this pool over here. Um, and then our new puppy, if you didn't see that in our last video, we shared that we got a Another puppy, his name is Knox. He is so sweet. He's like the best thing ever, but he loves water and mud, mud specifically. So his butt kept trying to get all up in the dirt. And I was like, not today, sir. You just had a bath. Um, he is huge already. <laughs> but um, yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys what we're working with right now. Okay, so please don't mind. The washer is going right now, but I'll show you guys kind of like where we're at. So this shed has been emptied and all ready to go. Um, this ladder is actually our neighbors. We're gonna give that back in just a moment. Um, one last view of our current laundry room. It looks really <laughs> dirty. Um, that's because it is. Uh, yesterday Dylan was cutting up the concrete to prepare to, to rip all this out. So the dust was like pouring right in here. But um, yeah, the laundry room is about to be tore down. This is what it looks like on this side. Look, I never painted behind the water heater. <laughs> I had like paint around it. But there's that, and then I wanted to show you, this is one of the reasons why we decided to just go ahead and rip it all out, because all of the floor is soft and rotten. It is full of mold. There's, it's all wet and water damaged over here. There's actually a wet spot. I don't know if you can see it, but the roof was starting to leak, so like right around that area. We got spider webs. <laughs> I mean, that's just common with the shed in general, but yeah, all this is about to go. Last, you get to see this laundry room. I actually worked my butt off <laughs> back whenever I did a makeover in here. This used to just be like a basic old shed and I turned it into our laundry room. I'll link that video below if you happen to miss it. It was a couple years ago and it served us well. But now we're ready for a whole new space. So all of this is fixing to go today. This shed, all of it. I mean, everything. So as soon as my brother gets here, we're gonna get started on demo. Now, I did share a little sneak peek over on Instagram. If you're not following me there, make sure you do. It's Carrie Lynn underscore underscore, and I'll have it right here on the screen. But over there, I actually shared a sneak peek of the empty laundry room, and a lot of you commented asking if we saved the cabinetry. Um, we decided not to because of mold. Um, they were just had a lot of water damage, a lot of it because it's hot and humid here and the fact that it was a laundry room with no AC anytime you shut the door especially when it was like raining just the humidity in there would just get so bad um there was just little more mold spores all inside the cabinets the cabinet doors had kind of swelled a little bit along with the drawers and the upper cabinets in there were actually used um I think they were used twice too so they were just in really rough shape it was time um we're gonna start completely fresh with the new building anyway and I just I saved what I could. We did save the door because we do want to put that door on our building because the door that the building is coming with is just like a basic door, but we like the windows. So I plan on painting that black, um, which I think will be like a fun little project to share. And um, we did save, we saved what we could. The light fixture, um, like my little hooks that were in the laundry room, we saved. Honestly, we tried our best um, to salvage what we could. So we're not like wasteful but um, unfortunately just a lot of stuff was just old and needed to go. Now after my husband got home I was informed that everything underneath the canopy cover and how it had to be moved. I don't know what I was thinking I just I don't know I was trying to keep it out of the weather but um, I was told everything underneath the canopy had to be moved out to the yard in order to have room for the tractor to drive around which makes perfect sense. Um, so we had to move this fence panel as well that way he could back his tractor in here and let me say, if it wasn't for my brother, who knows how to drive heavy equipment, who does that for a living, 
we would have never got this done <laughs> because nobody would have taken the time to shimmy their tractor into this tight little corner and turn. It, it took a while for him to get it in here, but he did it without damaging anything. He never even hit the house. I'm so proud. <laughs> but um, he was able to back his tractor in here, and that's when we started on moving the canopy out of the way. The guys even started sledgehammering the shed to try to just see what they were working with before they started to tear it down with the tractor. So if you want to see all of that fun, exciting stuff, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Turn on those notifications. And if you are enjoying this process so far, I would love for you to let me know in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up. That helps so, so much. And I, like I said, I can't thank you guys enough for all your love and support and engagement. It truly, truly helps my channel out. And you are a big reason why this project is possible. Um, and I am so, so incredibly grateful for that. So, yeah, thanks for being here and watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, y'all.